Welcome back, people! This is the final part of Pony Island. Last time I showcased to you every single location of the pony tickets, and now all that is left is to see what happens when you get the final one. But before I do that, I would like to showcase just a couple of more easter eggs that were in the game, at least the ones that I was able to catch, or you know, the ones achievement related, and I will go ahead and show you exactly what were all the five questions you can ask Baphomet about the past of our protagonist. After that, like I said, I will be showcasing the final boss and that will be it. So, without further ado, let's have some fun. one of the questions who was I when did I die who killed me mm, how about uh, well this confirms we are indeed another lost soul but who was I when did I die who killed me uh, I guess we're gonna have to ask in order who was I your name was Theodore you left behind a mother and daughter Interesting. That is all for now. Enter back to leave. You found all of the tickets. Every last one? Even the one in the pause menu? And all while you knew that you were holding me prisoner? I think I understand you now. You want a true completion. Utter closure. The ultimate ending. I think I can provide that. Whoa. Use the A and D keys to move. Laterally, alright. That's right. Hit me. 
Oh, wow. So he... Oh. So he really is giving us the final boss, huh? Ow. That's interesting. It is... Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Okay, you need to start doing this the right way. Keep forgetting I can actually destroy the... Projectiles. With the exception of these. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, I was certainly expecting something like this because there were hints that uh, maybe the the hopeless soul wasn't all out there. But now it turns out that the only reason I'm getting a final boss fight with him is because he sees that we want to. He's like, yeah, I'm cool. Oh, damn it. <laughs> he's, he's like, uh, okay, I'm cool, let's fight. <laughs> that's pretty... That's pretty cathartic. <laughs> I like it. I guess in the end, oh, oh my god, <laughs> I guess in the end the hopeless soul was right, the devil and its demon tools, they were actually mad, well, well, we're about to finish this and at the very least we're finishing on a, on high note, because as cathartic as this is, this boss fight is actually pretty intense. Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> At the very least, it doesn't restart with all this. Well, it does go back a little bit. But, ah, uh, well. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna deny it. this battle this fun. There we go. You need more than just this? Any proper boss has more than one face. Oh, wow. Let's have phase two then. You remember Pony Galaxy. Move with WASD space to shoot. Alright. Etc. etc. Okay, this is pretty out. <laughs> this is pretty The element of okay, this is pretty awesome. And again, it's pretty weird that we're having a boss fight with an enemy that uh, isn't really an enemy. I like this. What I don't like is that it keeps getting me. <laughs> okay, the more you do that, the better. You just don't have me deal with your other things. It's... I need to keep moving. Yep, I do. It's pretty weird how this is going, huh? Like, for the first time in who knows how many years, we're getting a final boss fight that... Uh, it's actually for fun. Instead, damn it! Instead of, come on. Okay, I get what I need to do. Anyways, as I was saying, it's pretty interesting that we're getting a boss fight that is more about the fun and less about uh, some convoluted and overcomplicated plot twist. You know, like it is great to have some of those, but at the same time, it is refreshing to see something that is just played straight. Not everything needs to be part of the big old conspiracy, right? Okay, need to keep moving. This is intense, and at the same time, I'm starting to get tired. It's been a while since I've been playing a game where I need to mash a button. I think the last game I played was Metal Gear Rising, and I was like, what? Uh, two years ago? Last year? <laughs> uh, so maybe it's not that far off. But still, you guys get my point. It's also pretty weird that we went from the fight with... Um, what was the demon? I don't even remember the demon right now. I'm too busy fighting. From that uh, other thing for the face. Okay, we're getting there. Getting the hang of it. This is fun. I just need to stop losing. Please forgive me if I don't talk too much. Much like other times, I need to concentrate. Oh my god. Come on. Nicely, nice. Okay, we're getting there. I can't really... I can't really say I'm a fan of the music for this phase. Like, it sounds way too relaxed for what is going on. Here's hoping if they do a third phase, it actually helps me out. You know, gives me that final thrill. And yeah, once this is finished, I will be uninstalling this game as part of the agreement to just release the, lost, the Hopeless Soul. 
I don't know why I keep calling it the lost soul. <laughs> Must be a thing of habit. All right, we're getting there. All, it, all I need to do is to stop getting hit by those red things. All right, very good. This also makes me feel, you know, one of those tingly sensations you usually feel with a game. Like it is, damn it. <laughs> like it is difficult. I did get a lot of uh, hits, like they hit me a lot, but at the very least I'm starting to get the hang of it, I'm starting to get good at it, and that's one of my favorite things about gaming, that you learn, you learn from your mistakes, you start to get better, and then you prevail, and that's part of the beauty of gaming. Though I don't know why I keep rambling when I should be concentrating and avoiding this slightly <laughs> difficult bullet hell while my hand is getting tired. Ah well, what matters is that this is almost over. Come on. <laughs> and done. And now we escalate to full intensity. Alright. For that cathartic final phase <laughs> that you seek. Oh wow. Oh, oh, whoa, okay, so we go back to first person, and I, I don't know what he did, oh, I see now that he, I can't continuously shoot the laser because I want to see when the hopeless, oh my god, okay, this is intense, this is, whoa, Ooh. <laughs> okay, this is intense in first person, so I might be getting a little motion sick there. Ooh, that was close. I gotta say, Hopeless Soul may be one of the... Ooh, that was close. Hopeless Soul may be one of the... One of my favorite video game allies. Because unlike so many other allies in gaming history, he... He really means well. He's being honest with us. Like, yeah, I'm only gonna fight you because you, you're you looking for a fight, you want to have some fun, alright. And I guess that's when the meta part of the plot applies. Oh my god, I apologize if any of you are getting dizzy from this, because I certainly am. I certainly am. Come on, come on. Oh, that was close. I'm rather surprised of how much variety this game has and I'm not talking about variety as you know this is the most uh, diverse game in terms of gameplay but rather of uh, how much it does with what little it has like in the most living stars we're fighting a very basic figure in the most basic of first person and here we are having a very intense battle very nice very nice very nice we almost got it there we go Oh, <laughs> of course, I was gonna mess it up there. Yeah, like I said, I can't uh, really... I really can't keep spamming the laser. Because it does block my view, like this. Well, at the very least, we recover. We're back to where we left off. Oh, man. I, I don't think I have uh, mentioned enough of how much fun I'm having with this. Because it's very fun. Now, if only the lost soul would stop moving. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, come on. We got this. We got this. And again, this started as a cutesy... Or, well, not, not exactly cutesy, but as a weird endless runner. I like this. Woo! <laughs> I barely saw that. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Whoa, whoa, that was close. And... We should be done. That's all I have. The game is over. I won't even shut it down this time. Alright, that's up to you. If you think something crazy is about to happen, well, it just isn't.
<laughs> Game over. Thanks for playing. Okay. Wow, that was uh, that was interesting. All right, before I give my thoughts on all of this, well, I think it's best we go back to the title screen. So, there you have it. We beat Pony Island, and we even went ahead and got all the extras there is to get. The 24 tickets, the questions for Baphomet. We even got to see a little easter egg with Asmodeus, and on top of all of it, we got to fight the secret final boss. And one that um, I might actually remember fondly in the future, because it is the first secret final boss that isn't really part of some big old conspiracy, but one that decided to give me a very intense boss fight just for the hell of it, no pun intended. <laughs> just a moment where you're just playing the game for the fun of it. So, that is something I can certainly appreciate. I gotta say I'm very surprised that a $5 little indie game was able to give me so much hours of fun, considering how much the Steam store and the indie scene have suffered with terrible developers and all the other stuff. So yeah, I would say Pony Island is a very good way to start the year. Just remember, the recording is in January 2016. This makes me look forward to everything else that is going to be coming out on both AAA and Indies. Because the one thing I want the most in gaming is games that actually do their job. I'm at a point in my gaming career where I don't care too much about innovation. And uh, I'd rather just get a game that does its job. Not simply it works like the Bethesda developers said about Fallout 4 but rather a game that sets out to do something and it does it well, such as this game. Even though it is uh, one of those games, kind of like Undertale and the Stanley Parable, it sets out what it wants to do and it does it well enough. Because honestly, I had fun. I know there are gamers that will find this kind of gameplay boring and repetitive and whatnot, but for me, this was fun and good enough. <laughs> so much so that I even wanted to make a video and share it with you guys. So yeah, I don't really think there is too much else to say about this game other than um, I enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to see what this developer can do in the future if he goes on and does another game. So, before I end this video I'm gonna do the usual stuff and I want to thank all of you who either stumbled upon my videos or decided to stick around and watch it from beginning to end, or if you decided to jump in in the middle of it, you guys got my gratitude, because as you know, a YouTuber is nothing without their audience. And if any of you stumbled upon my videos and decided that I was actually good enough to watch from beginning to end, that means a lot to me. It means that I'm actually doing something right with these videos. I like to make something that is going to last for long, you know, something that is more long term, rather than something to upload and let it be buried. So yeah. As for what I'm gonna be doing next, um, I got a couple of games in mind, but uh, because of this laptop and because of how weak it is in terms of specs, I'm not gonna be able to do too much, so <laughs> whatever I have in store, let's hope that it works. As for me, well, that is going to be it for this video. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I guess I will be seeing you all in the next one. <laughs>